healthy. And you know who else is healthy? Clay Thompson. So I want to stay in the Western Conference here and show you what Clay did last mm. night because who if he wasn't back before he is certainly back now he was playing against the Kings the Warriors Let were hosting them in Chase Center so the first half it was all Clay Thompson from deep Jeanette. yes the sharpshooter wildly streaky Clay Thompson is backing by the way Steph he was like setting him up perfectly all night look at that going right behind the head take nice little hesitation dribble to his sweet spot then you keep going. All right, you saw Curry do it from the right. Now he did it with his left hand. How wild is that? One-handed passes to his splash, bro. And you know the, the Warriors love to get out in transition. I mean, is anyone going to tell him, like, that might be his spot right now? Somebody needs to guard him. Because clearly, look, where does he run again, Shanae? Right to the same corner. But, hey, I think he was 5 for 5, maybe 6 for 6 from the half at that point. You said transition. We'll take a look at this. Clay Thompson steals the ball and... Phew, Easy bucket between that and Jonathan Kaminga. We'll see that bucket a little bit later. I My love when goodness, dances. the Warriors win it. And there's the dancing, and here's them after the game. I felt so dang good, and with everything I've been through, I just really appreciate nights like this. The shooting part is so much fun, and when you see hard work paying off, it just it just hits different now. Let's it fly. Got another one. Clay Thompson, just ridiculous. He can get hot at any moment. He got that look in his eye. We love to see that. Big boost for the whole team. Happy with the night, but I want to build off this. I want to shoot the lights out all the time. Lots of green on Clay's shot chart last night. So Thompson's 23 points are tied for his most since his return. And he also made seven threes for the first time since coming back and the 31st time in his career. That's the fourth most in the NBA history behind Steph, James Harden, and Damian Lillard. So, Janae, what happens if the Warriors get this version of Clay moving forward? The Warriors can really win a championship. It's not like an if, it's this is a reality that they can have. And I'll just say this, Klay Thompson, he's starting to get his mojo. It takes a few games for you to get your legs. And then finally you get your legs and then your shot's right under and you find your sweet spot. Now, Steph, if we see more of the Steph that we've always known, not necessarily like the last few months, right. which he's allowed, he's allowed the last few months. If we get Klay, Steph, plus all-star Wiggins, and then a healthy Draymond back, there's, there's not necessarily a team if they're playing their best basketball at the right time that can impede them from potentially getting to the NBA final. Well, and when Clay plays like that, it mm. actually makes it easier on Steph because all of a sudden he's not getting the defensive attention. You have to pick your poison. But it's interesting that you mentioned Draymond Green because, Perk, I want to ask you about the Warriors rookie Jonathan Kaminga. He's averaging 18 and a half points per game on 64% shooting over his last two contests. So, how is this play, how is his play forcing the Warriors to handle his rotation spot, particularly when, as Chine said, Draymond Green, James Wiseman, when they return? Well, <clears throat> it's not going to affect Draymond Green because Draymond Green and Kamiga could play together. We all know Draymond Green is that point forward. He initiated the offense, but Kaminga is that lob threat. Kaminga is that guy that was that he could be that JaVale McGee for them. But I didn't know, I knew he was athletic. I didn't know he was that skilled. He's very skilled for us creating to be able to drive and get to the paint, finishing right and left hand, dunking the ball, you know, uh, finishing through contact. But here's the thing. We keep saying when Wiseman gets back, mm. but Wiseman is going to have to earn those minutes because if I'm Steve Kerr, there's no way that I'm keeping this young stud, uh, Kaminga, out of the lineup. Wiseman is going to have to earn or wait his time because the way that this man is balling, he fits perfect with that offense. I mean, so much attention is around the perimeter with Steph, Clay, Andrew Wiggins because of the multiple pick-to-pick -pick actions. When he's diving to the basket and rolling with his athleticism, they're hard to stop, and he just fits in perfect. So I understand people were, uh, were waiting on Wiseman, but he's going to have to earn those minutes from Kaminga. And we all worked the 2021 NBA draft, and the biggest question around Kaminga was how bad does he want it, the game of basketball? Will he take possessions off? Perk is right. He's earned it, and so I think you're right. You know, that added center of James Wiseman will help, but you're going to have to outplay some of your competition, which elevates your competition, which puts them into producer Steve, yes, the championship conversation. <laughs> well, I have a feeling we're going to be seeing Moses a little bit Moody. more. Moody Moses. <laughs> Moody Moody. Moses. I have a... Moses. Moody. Yeah. Moody. I have a feeling we're going to be yeah. seeing a little bit more <laughs> of the Warriors and a little bit more of Jonathan Kaminga later in our show.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.